So it is um, arms and um, bum again today. Um, hi Rowan. Um, my arms, if anybody else is, I'm not sure, are still uh, still a little bit wobbly to be fair from last Monday, I'm not gonna lie. Um, this one, as you've seen me on the stupid videos, has taken a whole week to get a grip. Um, and then we did handstands yesterday. Um, and then I had a little cheeky pole session last night so I'm not super optimistic hi Lily um I'm not I'm not super optimistic for how well this is gonna go and I can't tell if I've designed a really easy set or a really disgustingly horrible one um so let's find out and um, so we're just gonna do a really quick warm-up and um, my music's super low because Instagram cut me off the last time I used noisy music so um hopefully you've got your own otherwise you're just gonna listen to me breathing Okay, um, so I'm just going to turn it that way, just a tiny bit. I need a chair in this video, that's why we're set up over here. Okay, so um, we're just going to start circling backwards. What's wrong? Okay. And the other way. And then we're going to go open. So hands are at shoulder height. Shaved headed husband. Gave in to the lockdown mania. Shaved his head on like day two. And now he's copying me because that's mature. Okay. And then we're going to hold the ribcage and circle it backwards. Keeping it as close to your ear as you possibly can. And the other way. And switch, circle back. And change direction. Good, and then we're gonna take the arms out and draw little circles. So nice and straight. Really engage through the whole arm and the fingertips. Circle the other way. Make them a little bit bigger and go a little bit faster. A bit bigger. Change direction. A little bit faster. A little bit smaller. Change direction. Bigger. Change direction. Smaller. Fast. Husband has now quit. <laughs> so as long as he lasted. And then in and out. So I've got palms down, thumbs to boobs. Then I'm going to turn my hands up, tap the shoulders. And then arms straight, and we're just going to twist the back of the hand to the floor and back up. Oh, mine are making some horrible noises. And then we're just gonna get side to side with the chest. And backwards and forwards. Circles. And the other way. And circle the hips. And the other way. And then we're gonna squat it down, pushing the knees out wide. We're not gonna do many of these. Make sure you squeeze and you bum at the top. And then we're gonna tap the toe, or as low as you can. And then if you're happy, go past it. And I'm going to turn to the side. Maybe it gives my hips down. And 
then you're just going to straighten out your front leg as much as you can. And as the front leg extends, we're going to soften the back knee. Just too close to you. Keep going. Softening that back knee. Um, like, so I'm confused here. Yeah. And then we're going to push the hips down. And then straighten out the front leg, soften the back knee. And then we're going to straighten both legs, turn to the middle, turn to the opposite side, hips down. Straighten out the front leg, soften the knee. the middle, just reaching down, flat as we can with the back, good, and then we're just going to take it down onto our back, feet are planted nice and close to the hips and we're just going to do some glute bridges, so I'm tilting that pelvis under, squeezing the bum and just lifting, tuck, squeeze, back, down, tuck, squeeze, back, And hold it at the top, make sure the knees aren't too wide. And then draw circles with the hips. And the other way. And back to the middle. Tilt that pelvis again, squeeze your bum. Knees squeezing towards each other. And relax. Good, okay. So, here comes the arms. Um, so you need a chair, um, if you have a piece of furniture around you that is um, really sturdy then I would use that. So I'm using this chair today because it is really strong, really heavy. Um, so I'm just going to really quickly show you what my exercises are basically so that you can just check if you have something around you um, that you can use. We are going to go for um, quite fast changeovers here. So um, if possible, you want to be set up right next to everything, sort of right next to each other, so that you can roll from one to the other to the other, okay? So exercise number one um, is, is just your press-ups. So you could do these with the um, knees on the ground or full press-ups. Um, um, my husband mentioned to me the other day um, about, I can't remember what he called it, I want to say he called it like a release press up or something. Um, so I'm going to give those a try just to test if I actually think they're any good or not. For me they were quite good at, at working my um, upper back. So if you wanted to do one of those two, all it was, was a regular press up control, oh, move you silly dog, regular press up control down to the ground then you let yourself go all the way down, you lifted your hands up, and then took it back up again. Yeah, um, as I said, for me, I quite liked it because it got my upper back to pinch, but I don't know if I find it harder, so we'll see. Um, the second is, a, is seated rows. So this is where you want um, a piece of furniture, if possible, that has um, some weight to it, that you could wrap a resistance band around. So. Um, I'm putting my feet against it to make sure I don't pull it at me anyway. And I'm wrapping a band around something. Um, this would also work with a door handle. Um, you could loop the band, if you open the door, you could loop it around the door handle on each side. Um, and you could do it standing instead of seated. So once I'm sat down, the closer my hands get to the furniture, the more difficult the exercise is going to become. Okay, so um, making sure nice flat back, 
chest is pulled forwards, shoulders are back and down, keeping my elbows tucked in, not flowing them out, and I'm trying to pull the elbows towards my ribs. Yeah? You watch this band snap in my face at some point. <laughs> and so, as I said, the closer my hands get to the um, furniture, the harder it would be. Um, then we're going for our dips. So we've been using a chair when we've been doing this. So I'm just gonna use this, this same chair, but if you want to, grab a different one. Um, and then you're doing whichever variation you want. So straight legs, legs bent if you um, wanted to make it a little bit easier. So we are here, elbows pinching towards each other. Back up, yeah, these feel hard already. Um, exercise number three is straight arm pulses using a resistance band. So this could be standing um, or you can stay crouched down if you want to. Just make sure you're not flowing out through the ribs. How close your hands go will dictate how difficult it is for you. Um, so I'm going to go about shoulder width. I want to find the tent. Uh, my hands are at shoulder height. Camera's a bit deceptive there. Um, I want to find tension on the band. So I'm pulling it apart slightly and then I'm just pulsing. So I've got to try and keep my arms straight and at shoulder height, not taking the tension off the band. Yeah? And this is gonna help work on sort of the stabilizer muscles, stabilize the muscles on the outsides of our shoulder. And then the last one, which is meant to be um, good at working the same muscles that we would use in a pull-up without having a pull-up bar. Um, I did these for about 45 seconds, um, and they do feel really hard, but I couldn't tell you why. Um, so we'll see. Um, so to do this one, I want two yoga blocks or two books. You can do it on the floor, but I found it harder. Um, I want to have the blocks about the same height as my shoulders. Take my arms out as if I was gonna do like a chest press. So elbows and shoulders are in line. Legs are straight. Um, bum is engaged, so you're thinking about like planking with the body a little bit. And then we just push like this down into the blocks to lift the chest and squeeze the um, sort of mid traps together so the upper back is trying to squeeze. Yeah? Just try and get your neck relaxed. Don't go too tense with it. Yeah? So we have press ups with the optional um, release at the bottom. Then we had using the band on a piece of furniture for the seated rows. Then we have dips. Then we have the straight arm pulses, and then we have um, these little pushbacks um, lying on the back, okay? So we're gonna do, to start with, one minute of each exercise with no rest in between. Then we're gonna take it into round two, where you're gonna do it for 50 seconds, and then I'm gonna give you 10 seconds of rest. And then depending how clever you're feeling, you might be able to work out how I'm going to proceed this. Yeah, it's gonna get nice and easy, don't worry guys. What is this psychopath making you try? Okay, are you ready? So we're gonna go for our press ups first. <clears throat> Pull this out of the way. I hope you have a drink ready. Not that you can have it for a while, maybe have a drink now if you need one. Right, are we ready? Ooh, I've got all my stuff organised. Off we go. Keep going. My doctor had broken my timer. Halfway. Five, four, three, Two, 
it into the seated row. So as soon as you're there, get going. So a nice flat back, elbows tucking in. Sitting nice and tall. Ten more seconds, nearly there. And dips. Arms are so shaky already. That's thirty seconds. Fifteen seconds to go. What do you want? Keep the arms nice and straight. Oh my god. That's 30 seconds gone. Oh, this was horrible. Why have I picked this one? Ah. That's 40 seconds. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's 50. Uh, oh, that's better. And uh, last one. So blocks in line with the shoulders. Straight legs, raise. Forty five seconds gone. And back to your press ups. You get a rest after this one for ten whole seconds. Go. Ooh, lifting my hands feels hard now. Last three, two, one. Enjoy your whole 10 seconds of rest. And then we're going back into seated rows. 
and 10 seconds is up, go. Ten more seconds. This one feels like a little rest. <sighs> Who knew the resistance band would be the worst one there? Unless that's just me. So you've got ten whole seconds of rest. And then it's dip time. The ten seconds doesn't feel like a rest, does it? It just feels like we're moving. Ready? Go! The next one will feel like a rest. Ten seconds. Oh. And relax for your whole ten seconds. I'm not going to go as hard on this one. I'm going to give myself a chance. So I'm not going to go quite as shoulder width. Okay, off we go. Find the tension. Straight arms, shoulder height. Thirty seconds. What time is it? Ooh. Ten seconds to go. And stop. You've got ten whole seconds. And then we're on the lift ups. Straight legs, go. Try and keep the elbows high. Mine keep jumping down. Thirty seconds gone. this time. Ready? Go! Drink if you want one. Ooh. Okay. Then we're going into the rows. Three, two, 
One, go. So this shouldn't be as bad as last week's because last week's I thought I was pairing um, opposing muscle groups um, in a gym instructor for like 10 years but in my head tricep dip work different muscles to a press up and relax when in fact they both work the muscles that are pull downs as we don't have um, which I think is why it was so horrific <laughs> So sorry about that. So I won't be going that mean again, or at least not to start with. Dip time. Go. seconds. Ah, relax. Ah, this 20 seconds is starting to feel quite nice now. Are we okay? <laughs> okay, you've got about five seconds and then we're back onto these bad boys is the dark horse of the set. Off we go. Wobble, guys. Okay. And straight legs. Go. Wide. Ah. Cheating. Okay, one more round. So this time you get 30 seconds rest. And go. Grab your band. <sighs> ah, lots of rest now. <sighs> okay, I feel like this is alright. I don't think this is too nasty, but... Which is going to disappoint me if everyone's like, Oh no, it was well easy. I could have done it over and over again. 
Okay. Rose. Rest, and then we've got dips, and then we've got <coughs> straight arm pulses, elbows, done with the arms. Yeah, I feel alright this time, but last week I like couldn't move. Okay, get ready, dips. seconds. 30 seconds of band. Nearly done. My husband is behind the camera pulling weird faces. He's exercising but weird faces. He's got quite a lot of good ideas to be fair. Might have to steal some. Okay. Go. Exercise and then we're on to glutes. <clears throat> what? Lunges suck. Lunges suck. Good job, well done. Get a drink. Yeah, I think I'm a little bit disappointed. I like to feel a little bit on fire at the end. And I like this dodgy elbow to not be able to go straight. But look, it's straight and it's not doing this. Harder next time, guys. Um, but hey-ho. So, um, on to glute stuff. Um, if you are, you can hear Dan louder than me breathing. Have you heard this, Daniel? I'm surprised. Sorry. Um, <laughs> um, so, um, if you, <laughs> if you have a, uh, um, die quietly. start again. Yes, do die quietly. So I'm using a kettlebell, which is totally optional. You don't have to use a kettlebell at all. Um, I'll probably get rid of it quite quick because it's super heavy. Um, and I think I'm being quite cocky. So, um, optional kettlebell. If you were using a kettlebell, I would use a cushion, um, cause I'm going to put it on my hips. Um, and then I want a band. Um, if you want to, uh, if you don't have one of these ones, Shut up, stop breathing. Um, then you could use one of these, tighten it up, yeah? So, I complained last time as well that it wasn't hard enough with uh, 
the band I had, so I've gone harder. So again, I'll probably quit halfway through now. You watch. Okay, so um, we're gonna do. Um, how many have I got? One, two, three, four. Uh, four sets of exercises for two rounds. I'm just gonna do forty-five seconds. Um, I don't think I'll have time. Um, let's see. So the first one is squat crab walks. Um combined with side glute lifts, um, which are, I think called like fire hydrants, sideways, I can't remember. So I'm gonna go into a squat and I'm gonna do this. Keeping my knees pushing out into my band. Yeah, and then, I don't think the band will work here. I think it's going to ping. I need more room. Down that way. And then, going here. Um, my feet are together, elbows under shoulder, hand is on my hip. I'm gonna push this leg up, squeeze my hip forwards as I do it. Squeeze, squeeze, okay? Um, and then I'm gonna switch sides. Ready? So stand up, if you've got a band, pop it on. Oh, you're welcome for the videos. Um, okay, so ready? Off, oh, we go so into that little squat keep the tension on the band a little crabby walks bye guys i think some people call them monster walks Pushing the knees wide. Keep sitting the hips down. Oh, I can feel this. Down band, and then take it down. And then we're going here. My legs are bent, I don't know if you can see them. Come just off the video. Oh, there we go. So I'm squeezing my bum up here at the top. This band was definitely too hard. <laughs> and then we're going back up. So a little rest as possible here. Back into these. Pushing out. <sighs> Go away with your noises. <sighs> and then shut up, Daniel. Megan, <sighs> don't do it. Unless you're going to marry someone who is less annoying. <laughs> okay so that was round one so the second two exercises my hair's going weird again second two exercises are shoulders um lifted glute bridges and then standard fire hydrants um so 
my chairs here, I don't think you can see it. So you can just use your dining chair that you were using for your dips. Um, feet slightly apart, knees are pushing out and into your band. Make sure you're squeezing at the top and then lowering back down. We're gonna do this one um, at the same time. So we're gonna work on slow, controlled. And then when we get fire hydrants, you want your band so that you're kneeling on it and it's in the back of the knee pit and you're keeping your leg bent. Get this way, you really need my summer bum. And it's here. Yeah, trying not to let the hip turn out too much, feeling the bumming, bum squeeze at the top. Okay, right, are we ready? So band around the knees. Off, oh, we go, we're gonna squeeze. Up, two, down, two. 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 Fire hydrant. So band under the knee. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and time's up, back to, so this is where I wanted to use my kettlebell, it's optional, you don't have to, so this time you can do it on your own speed, but using kettlebell if you can, <sighs> go. Last 10 seconds. And then we're going into fire hydrant. And the other leg. Stop. Okay, next two tabletop leg raises and curtsy lunges. Um, so, let me just undo this. Um, it's up to you if you want to use this band. This, I, I think both these exercises, um, the band is going to ping anyway, but I've been looking at those fancy fabric ones that look a bit less pingy. So, um, can you see me there? Tabletop lunge. So, fingers are pointing behind us. Feet about hip width, squeeze the bum, 
here. Can you see my feet? And then I'm trying to go one. Oh, it's going to ping. Two. One. Two. Making sure I'm staying here, not coming down here as the leg lifts. Yeah? Um, and then curtsy lunges. Try even more, even less, should I say, faith in the band. It's just going to ping up to my thighs. Um, so you go little squat, step behind. Ah, oh, look, it's up. Step behind. That's my butt over there. It's just going to get in the way for both. Okay? So here, behind, here, behind. Yeah? I want that nice twist across. Okay? Okay, ready? Tabletop lunges first. <coughs> Off we go. more seconds. Relax. And then curtsy lunge. <laughs> so squat. Step behind. Drop the knee down. Squat. Knee down. Oh. Equipment sabotage. Okay, and then round two. Um, here, aren't we? Three, two, off we go. Lunge. What time is it, Peanut? So it might cut me out at some point because it'll only let you record for an hour live um, and I'm not sure how far I've gone so if it cuts out keep going I'll be back in a second <laughs> I just have to turn it off and turn it on again um, so last bit we have side leg lifts which we were meant to do last time but I couldn't remember what they were so just literally from here 
lifting the leg up, making sure we're not rolling this hip back so it's squeezing forwards. So it should get like this bit of the bum here. Yeah, um, I'm gonna do this with a band on and then um, leg lifts in back extension. So keeping it straight and I'm just literally lifting here, trying to keep that hip down, not doing this. Okay. So I'm gonna do same leg for both and then do the other side and hopefully it'll burn. All right. See if I can get to the end of the exercise before it cuts me off. Ready? Off uh, we go. And really pause towards the top bit. So it should be back here. Ten more seconds. Roll, so try and keep the pelvis tucked under. <clears throat> we bend that leg actually, and then push, that should get Less hamstring, more glute. <clears throat> and roll to the opposite side. Good. Lift. Front. Um, oh, let's do it with, let's do straight leg just to start with because I did on the other side. Try and think about squeezing your bum before you lift your leg. And then let's bend it, push. On the cheek. And done. Yay! Finished. Okay, so again, if it cuts me out, I'll be back in a second, don't worry. So just sit onto your bum for a sec. Hands onto your shoulders. Nice big deep breath in. And out. Breathe in. Out. In. And out. We're just going to have one hand to the side and we're just going to reach over. So think about chest opening. Well, my arm's a little bit wobbly now. Other way. And 
then we're just gonna go one leg flat, other one lies in front of it so they're not properly crossed and then just lean forwards. And swap them over. There's so another one crossed in front. So you should feel this sort of light in the glue. If you um, are quite advanced at pigeons, you might not feel this very much. Get sort of the outside of my hip of my front leg when I'm doing it. Good, and then we're just gonna take it into a pigeon. So get into that plank, bring one leg in and through. Lie that knee down, let those hips sink down. Think knee and toes on the floor, chest is facing forwards. If you can, walk those hands forwards. And then we're gonna swap. My ass again, sauce guys. Good. And then just use a wall, um, or I think you can use your chair if you wanted to. I'll use my chair. And put um, one foot on. I'm going to cross my leg over, I'm going to push through my arms and try and come in. Bring your arm across, shoulder down. Oh, I'm into my last two minutes. Swap. I didn't know it gave me a, a reminder. That's a good thing. Okay, nearly done. So if there's anything that I haven't stretched off that's feeling tight on you, make sure you stretch it afterwards. Um, so we're going elbow up. What we're just gonna have a little look at is how close our fingers get. So here, here, and if you can, Trying to grab them. Tuck the ribs back in. And I'm going to switch. Elbow up. Use your hand. So if you couldn't reach it, you could use a towel or you could use your resistance band. So here, catch, pull. And start walking them towards each other. So eventually you can touch. Got 58. I've got a minute. So then the ones that we lie in the front that I like. So these ones where we have like one bent and then twist. And then straight arm, look the other way, bend the opposite one, twist your leg back. And then straight down, link your hands behind your back, pinch. And then pull them forwards. Done! Well done, guys. Really good. Um, let me know how you found it. Um, and let me know maybe tomorrow how your arms found it. See if it was too easy and I need to make it harder. Or if the level was a bit better. Because I think last week...